G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can connect directly to an SQL database with a Windows Universal application using C Sharp. So let's begin. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you've got the Windows 4 Creators update, so on your computer, and you need to make sure you've got the latest Windows 10 SDK. So in order to get the latest Windows 10 SDK, you can go to Google. There's a link there. I'll provide that in the description. What you simply want to do is just download the XE or even the ISO for that matter, but I've just done the XE. Once you've downloaded, it's about 14 meg. Um, select everything that it has to offer, press install, it's about 500 megs. Once you've installed that and you have indeed got the creator's file update, you'll then be able to um, open up Visual Studio just like this and you'll be able to go to create new project. Once you've got your new project open, we're using um, C Sharp, you, sh you should be able to do it with vb.net, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't tried that yet, but with C Sharp what you want to do is want to go to Windows Universal Application and just go to Blank Application, make sure it's a universal application, hence that's why we're doing it with. Press the OK button and you'll get this window here. So right here you can get to the target version and the minimum version. What I've found that I've had to do just with my version of Visual Studio or even Windows 10 for that matter is if I have the minimum version below um, four creators update, I won't be able to use it, the SQL, um, you know, system.data.sql. So what I need to do is with the minimum version, just make sure you've got Windows 10 four creators update selected. So they should both be the same and press OK. You can write some code that says, you know, if it's not the creator's update or if Windows 10 isn't above this version, then you could, you know, have a, a dialogue box show, say, you know, um, update your Windows 10 or something like that. But let's just say that the user has got the Windows 10 falls update anyways. So once we're in here, you should now just be able to connect to your SQL database, just like you would with the standard desktop application. So just to give you guys a bit more of a demo, we'll go to Solution Explorer and we'll go to Main Page. Now this feature has been requested a lot from developers, I think even since Windows 8.0 um, first came onto the scene. So this is an exciting time for developers worldwide, um, if it's not too late for universal applications. So I'm just going to go now to a desktop 13 inch. Um, of course you can play around with this and make it suit you know, your needs, but just for the application, I'll just make sure it's the right resolution, well, so, so, so to speak. Okay, so the toolbox is going to get a button. So I'm going to just want to click the button, it's going to connect to my database. Okay, so there's my massive button, and I'll get a label. Okay, oh sorry, it's not labels, it's text block. You may have to remember like all my universal stuff now because um, I haven't done a lot of universal things in such a while. I think the last thing I did was I made a smart mirror, um, you know, and I've got that, I use that every day actually, it's sitting on my wall. And it, it's really nice because it tells me the time, it tells me the date, which is to be expected. But it also tells me currencies, of, you know, live updates of currencies, some news events, and the weather, of course, so it's really nice. So I'm just going to make my text here a bit bigger for you guys that are playing at home so you can see. And we'll just get in the center just because. Okay, awesome. So there we go there. So now what I can do is I can double click on my button. That will trigger the click event. And here we go. Voila. So this is really exciting now. Let's make this go full screen. So now what I can do, just like doing with a classic or a, you know classic application, EJ console and desktop, is I can now go using system data SQL client. Okay, so before you couldn't do this, I mean you could definitely install the package, but it just didn't work. Okay, so there's that one there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to one of my local databases on my system with, um, well, local to the fact where it's using, still using SQL Server Manager, but I'm just going to do it what's connected to my database. I'm not going to connect to my website or anything like that. So what I'll do just quickly, just like any other application, is I'll just make a const string and I'll just call it the connection string. Oops and it's just going to be server equals so you know you're just literally putting your details so here's my computer's name okay the database what have we called it my database okay now this is using um sql studio um, i've got plenty of tutorials on sql so uh, do check them out if you're having a little trouble understanding so there's that one there, so there's our database. Now we just need a user ID, which is always AS, and my password equals, I think it's just 1A2B3C. I may have changed it, but I have honestly not used um, SQL Server Manager in such a long time. I've been you know, doing it with a web server and things like that. So there's that connection string, nevertheless. Okay, so now, just like any other application, I can now go using SQL connection, SQL con, equals new SQL connection. We'll put in our connection string, which is a const, so if it changes. And now I'll simply write um, sqlcon.open. 
Okay, this is just a very quick way to get the application. I would recommend creating a class and making your SQL con uh, connection use a sync method. And now it's right here. If, oops, yeah, well, actually, let's just try and open the connection. And then once that's done, we'll just use our label that we've created before, which I need to allocate a name to it. See, I've forgotten so much about universal applications. Let's call it level one in the properties there. So you've got to name your control. Okay, so my button for this matter, uh, it, it doesn't have a name, although I've create a click of it with it, um, or a handler, but yeah, with my label, I certainly do need to give it a name. You could call it anything you like. I'll just call it label one. So now I just write here label one dot text equals SQL con dot state to string. Okay, so it'll ever say open or whatnot. So here we go. Let's now see if we can connect to our um, to our yeah SQL database. So hit F5. It's starting to compile down the bottom there. All right, deploy has been successful, and here is our Windows Universal Application, App 3 for that matter. Click on the button, and there we go. Look at that, the connection is indeed open. So there you go, guys. This is a quick tutorial on how you can connect to an SQL database. So from here on, you could certainly write your queries. You could add those, you know, those values um, from your database to a grid or, what is it in Universal Applications? I think it's grid, but I honestly cannot remember. It's been such a while. Yeah, a grid, a grid view. Um, you could use these controls here. You could add them to a combo box if you really wanted to. There you go, guys. Once again, there's the code. It's very, very simple. You just need to remember to make um, make sure your computer's updated to the creators for, for creators update, sorry, and that you've got the right SDK and you should be cooking with gas. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe. Check out my other SQL videos. SQL, yeah, Lite, SQL, Microsoft, C Sharp, VB whatever, check them out. Um, you might find them useful and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.